Hey guys, I'm getting hungry. Let's have some breakfast food for supper. Hey guys, Shea Bear here. Uh, the noise in the background is the air conditioner. It has been very hot today. The real feel was 107. And it was like 92. So I'm not going to shut it off because I did that earlier to make my last video. And I forgot to turn it on. And it got like 80 degrees in this house pretty quick. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some of this. It's from Armor. It's corned beef hash in the can. I love this stuff. It's, it's good stuff. Um, it might not be good for you, but it is good. So, alright, so what I've got here is, of course, the cans. Now, what I want to explain to you about these cans. That's right, I opened this with a knife, okay? Now, I opened it with a knife because why? Well, I don't have a can opener. But, spoiler alert. You won't see them like this anymore, hopefully. Now, I'm letting this uh, this pan heat up. Now, these this stuff here, a lot of people will put butter or oil in here. It's not really necessary. I mean, if you want to put some butter in for flavor, that's fine. But, now remember, these cast iron skillets here, they're... Um, they're already seasoned and they're seasoned with oil and I keep this one seasoned as you can see it's real shiny and these uh, all these they, this has this has a lot a lot of grease and fat in it and so I mean that's up to you if you want to use it but it shouldn't stick on you especially if you're having a non-stick pan or one of these pans now if you'd like to say if you want more flavor go for it but but it's not necessary so I'm going to make two cans here, but as you can see, you know, and as far as seasoning, I'm just going to add a little pepper. A lot of people like to add salt, but remember, this is canned food, so it's already going to have a lot of salt in it. So you can see the, the grease coming off of this. So you shouldn't need any extra, um, extra grease. Now, corned beef hash is, of course, corned beef with just some potato chunks in it. Uh, sometime I want to do a do a homemade version of it to where I make my own and then you can really load it up. You can put green peppers in it or I mean green onions and yes you can put peppers. Anything you want in it when you make it yourself. As far as that goes you can do it right here as well. Now I'm just going to put I'm just going to have this on a medium heat and I'm just going to kind of spread that out a little bit. Uh, this is a 12 inch skillet, I think. Well, yeah, 12 inch. So, what I'm going to do, like I said, I've got it on medium heat. Alright, now I've got five eggs here. Now I don't like odd numbers. So why five eggs? Monkey's not very hungry because she had a big lunch. She has a a patient of hers, her and her husband, they always give her muffins and well today it was lunchtime when she went there so he made her a big old sandwich and he makes the sandwiches like I do. That thick. So she's not real hungry so I'm only going to put five eggs in here. Um, now the reason why five, which is an odd number and if you guys have followed me for a while you know I'm kind of I hate odd numbers. Either four or six, whatever. That's because the fifth one is for my puppy dog Bruno. Alright, so there's that. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to pepper these. I'm 
I'm going to put some pepper on it. Eggs and pepper, yes. Well, it's not even quite supper time yet. Well, I guess it is. About 20 to 5, so. Now I'm going to cover this. Don't hate. I don't have the lid for this, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to let this cook for 15 to 20 minutes, and we'll check it. Alright guys, it's been 18 minutes. Let's see what we've got here. Ooh, look at that. Now I'm going to give it, oh, three or four more minutes to, uh, to get some of this liquid out of here. So I'll reduce it, I should say. And uh, then we'll check it out and we'll just dish some out. Okay, this looks perfect. I'm going to go with it like that. I'm going to put some on my plate here. That monkey got these at the Dollar Tree for $4.99. No, just kidding. They were a buck. Alright, so let's cut this and cut into this and see. Yeah, nice. Alright. Very nice. Ah, oh, yeah. Alright, let's get this off the fire. Alright, let's cut into this. Now, the eggs got a little bit too done. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm still going to eat it. But, yeah, I mean, that's just how you do the corned beef. Mmm. Out of a can. So there you go guys, that's that's my supper for tonight. I'm going to get Bruno's egg out for him. I think his turned out a little better than the other ones. I let him cook a little too long. I kind of wanted the, the egg yolk to be a little runnier. My mistake, but it happens. But it's still going to be just fine. Uh, that's a good thing about cooking, man. Make it the way you want. You can always say, that's the way I like my eggs. <laughs> Which I like them either way, that's fine. Uh, so. But I'm going to get Bruno's and get his chopped up for him so he can, so he can be cooling, so he can have his supper. And guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, remember, comment, rate, subscribe, share the videos, share them on social media. It'd be of great help to me. And uh, again, I appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now, guys. Bye bye.